Hey y'all, it's Melissa. Welcome to Messy Missy Creates. I know there's a glare. Um, I got to do some shopping today and I went to Hobby Lobby and Joann's. Um, let's see, first I had, well, let me scoot these over so you don't have to stare at the glare. Uh, I had a doctor's appointment today and I, it's down near, it's in town near, uh oh, okay, near my favorite little cupcake shop. And it's just a small, individually owned little shop. I, don't, I hope you can see those. Anyway, I got some, well, that one's upside down. They have some other little trinkety things that they sell in there. And I they had these vinyl stickers individually. And so I got a handful of them. It says, I think I've seen this film before and I didn't like the ending. So, and the other one says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. So, I'm going to put those there. And then these are little Care Bear stickers. So, anyway, I just thought they were sweet. And I picked those up. And then I went to, well, I went to Hobby Lobby first. But I'm going to show you what I got from Joanne's first. Because um, this makes for a prettier background than just my calendar. So, anyhow. Uh, I'm thinking I got something wrong. But anyway, I went and they had a sale on their paper. Um, on their regular uh, scrapbook paper, loose, I forgot what they call it, open stock or something like that. It was 10 for $3, so it makes it about $0.30 a piece, so it's not too bad. I got that, and then they had this on sale. This was their... Their designer paper whatever and well first i had to have an airplane sticker because you know if you saw one of my last videos where i talked about i'm going to be flying for the first time in 30 years or almost 30 years so anyway so i got some little vacay stickers because i'm actually getting to get away somewhere other than you know within driving um well it's still driving distance but i'm going to be flying so I got some paper because I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on my journal for May, but I need to do, I need to get the journal made. I need to get, I've got a lot of things to do before I leave. One of them is to make my journal for May. And so I decided to go ahead and buy some paper for it because I don't want to sit here and fumble through paper that I've had for years. So I made that decision. I just haven't decided which combination of this I'm going to use. I like all the flowers. I love these hibiscus. These are very tropical. Um, I love hibiscus flowers anyway, but I also love these and I love the green and I'm just not sure. So you'll see those papers again. Um, this is, I, I'm regretting not getting more of this, but there's a video that you haven't seen yet because I haven't posted it, and it's about a journal that I'm going to be making, a travel journal, and, um, for my daughter. So, I got these just to have cards, like journaling cards in them. This is just one-sided paper. Uh, I was kind of going on somewhat of a color scheme. But also, um, travel theme or something like that. So, I think you can see them. This is like little post stamps from everywhere. And this is a map. Hold on just a second. These are out of order. It's driving me crazy. Okay. These are the color scheme of the book. And, and so are the post stamps. These are journaling cards. Okay. The, I got two of all of them. I got a map. Um, I feel pretty confident she's going to cover one of these states anyway, one or more. I thought maybe if they took a hike or she, you know, whatever. But anyway, I'll show you more about this paper later. Oh, I just got some random birthday pres um, birthday, pre birthday paper. I got some more of this, the postage stamp, because I just loved it. I got this because, well, you know, here of late, I'm into my quilted paper look. I don't know why, I just, I love it. So this is already made for me. And here's some camping or mountains, um, s'mores, nature, fresh air, call of the wild, explore, happy camper. These are some more journaling cards. These kind of go in the front with the rest of them. 
Um, I may use some of them. Some of them may go in another that other journal I'm going to be making. These I got just to make some journaling spaces in my journals. So, anyway, yes, I needed more paper because I didn't have that paper. So, and then here's my stickers. With, well, with and without the glare. So, I've got airplanes. is up, up, and away. And then weekend plan. It's not all, you know, it doesn't all have to be trip related. I, that's not the only one of those I got, though. I just thought I'd tell you that in advance. Um, these are some small Scotch Create um, glue sticks. They had them on sale. So, you know, you get them when they're on sale. So, I'm going to put those up. And then I got, um, there was not very much Tim Holtz stuff. I've heard a rumor about, well, I say a rumor, it was on our news about Joanne's filing bankruptcy. I don't know what that means for the store. If any of you know, fill me in. But I know that they had about five things on that aisle with Tim Holtz stuff, and I was really sad. So, um, oh, look, Inspire, Create. Well, isn't that neat? Look, Allison. Excuse me, it went like this. How amazing is it that those are the first two I pulled? So, I think that, um, I think old Tim was watching our uh, challenge last year. So, anyway, these are just like little flashcard, mini flashcards. And they're in different sizes. And so, I got these. I did not have any of these. So, yes, I needed them. And probably I'm going to put them back in here for right this second. But then, um, you know, you just add them to your journal or your, your art journal pages or whatever. You can do whatever you want to within your scrapbook pages. Anyway. Uh, I've seen them before. It's not like it's it's not a new thing. It's just new new to me. I didn't have them. Okay, so here's Hobby Lobby. Well, first, you know, this is just a rotating pen holder. Well, do I need it? Well, it was only three dollars. So that kind of dictated whether I needed it. Look, it spins. Um, I don't have one that spins. I just have this little, little scoot over. I have this one right here. And then I have, that's not all the pins I have. Don't get me wrong. I have them other places. I have a whole drawer full. But I thought maybe the ones that I use the most, I could replace this with that one that I have. It's way cuter in here. Um... And I got, I love Bow Bunny stamps. And these, whoop, 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 excuse me, Avalanche. Okay. I was doing some arching earlier. Um, I love these little rainbow stamps. I thought they were so sweet. And they're only $1.99. I got some little pipettes um, for a project I'm going to be doing here shortly. I, I'm getting my art on. If you haven't noticed, I'm, I'm, I'm like itching to create. I got these. These are ultra fine tip applicators. You'll find them in the art section. This is Hobby Lobby now. I've, I've switched from Joanne's to Hobby Lobby. Um, well, fiddlesticks. I didn't mean to tear that. There, let's tear the plastic. Because here's where I got them. I had gotten these off Amazon or something a long time ago. And it was supposed to be a no clog tip because of that, that cap right there. But guess what it did the first time I used it? It clogged. So I'm going to try these. If nothing else, this was $1.79 for the two. If nothing else, if you own Art Glitter Glue, you know why I got this. Because I do believe this is, and it is, perfect. It's the perfect replacement pen for your art glitter glue. So that in itself was worth more than $1.79, especially for two of them. So there's my little tip of the day. 
but I'm gonna divide out my art glitter glue because I do want one small one that I keep in here and then I can keep this one in with my card making stuff because I use it a lot there. So I got those and I thought that was a great find. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna keep those little things in there. I got off the clearance thing. Have you ever seen a smushed pencil? Well, there it is. Um, these are just colorless blenders for colored pencils. And I haven't used my colored pencils in a while. My, I got some good ones a while back and some artist grade ones and I really want to use them um, to color in my stamps and stuff. Okay, so yeah, I got another one. This is the first one I got. If I had seen the other, mm, okay. Let me hold it up like this so there's no glare, but also you can see those stickers are iridescent. Um, is that what you call that, iridescent? I don't know, they're glittery, sparkly. No, they're not glittery, they're just iridescent. So anyway, um, I got this, and I think they'll be cute stickers, and, um, you know, for my travels. I got these, these old, they look like old hotel keychains. I'm gonna be making a project with these soon, so you'll see these resurface. So, I got that. And look, y'all. Do you see it? Do you know what it is? Oh, let me take the tag off you. Hold on, honey. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, y'all. It was 29 cents in their clearance bin. I had to. I mean, who doesn't? That was worth the giggle I just got for 29 cents. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I can see you're not amused. Oh, oh, he wants to come. He wants to play. Okay, well, you guys sit up here. No, you have to sit up there. No, you have to sit. Okay, he wants to come be in the video. Yes, I got new washi. Now, they did not have a paper studio sale. It figures that the one time I get to go in there, they don't have anything on sale. I mean, hardly anything was on sale. But I've been doing pages in this. The way that my pages turn out, this is tie-dye. I'm like, sure, why not? So, I just, I thought that was neat. And then I'm really into neons right now, y'all. I am I am like needing brightness. And I'm really into neons. Didn't think I would ever say that. I think I avoided them the first time they came out. And look. Look, y'all. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it so pretty? It's not exactly what I wanted, but I love these muted colors. Now, if you have not seen these, Hobby Lobby has about five or six sets of these. There's 50... 55 rolls of washi in here for $14.99. That makes it... <laughs> okay. Oh, that looks like my little bogo bunny. Looks just like my little bogo bunny that I had. Okay. Enough about bogo. Anyway, that makes it really, really inexpensive per roll. Do you really want me to do the math? Well, if there was 30 rolls in there and they were $15, they would be, what, 50 cents a piece. So, y'all, that's like half of that. It's way cheaper than Dollar Tree. So, you know, you know, you know. But I really love these. These are kind of springy to me, and they're they're um, more of a muted... Pa they're not pastels necessarily. A little bit they are, but they're almost a little more muted than that. So they had them in blues. There's butterflies. I did not need this. Did not need this at all, but <sighs> here it is. Okay. I'm not going to take them all out. Um, you can see most of them in the back. I'll hold it up again. Let me turn it to where it's not so much in the glare. But see those floral, and I loved... Um, love this kind of coral color 
I was looking for it earlier for something I was making. And look at these butterflies. Aren't they pretty? And look, the florals with the writing. More florals, more more butterflies. But it's a very corally pink, a muted pink, if that makes sense. And look at the little cone flowers. And I love this. It's almost like a denim blue. And so, anyway, that with that kind of corally color, I love those colors together. So, all right. Anyway, so we're almost done. Okay, if you saw my rolly cart with paint on it, um, I have one of those small craft carts with just paint on it. However, however... They, I didn't have these colors. Well, I had kind of a fuchsia color. This is crimson red. It does not look like any crimson red I've ever seen. It looks very fuchsia. But I did not have this tangerine color. And this is kind of that peachy coral pink color. And um, this is like a little bit darker than tangerine. It's tiger lily. So I've been really into the oranges and pinks and neons and... Oh my. And so some bright blue and some fuchsia and some lime. Well, it's chartreuse. Oh, but they have these. Just FYI. Um, because I've been playing with my gel plate some more. And I've been going through a lot of that paint that's on the cart that is also very old. And I've had it for, I don't know, I'd say somewhere between five and ten years. That, that, all that paint. And can you see that? It's 49 cents. So, I think that makes it even cheaper than Walmart. And definitely cheaper than Dollar Tree. Well, except the one I got at Dollar Tree one time was bigger. But anyway, we won't go there. So, um, is Crafter's Collection. I've never seen it at Hobby Lobby before. It's probably new-ish, but not brand new. Because it's been... I haven't been in there since Christmas. And I really didn't look at the paints when I was in there. So, anyway, then after I had those in my buggy. My buggy. In the South, that's a buggy. My shopping cart. Um, then I saw in this crafter's collection. They have an entire neon set. Look at this. They even have the neon blue and purple. They have two different shades of blue. They have like a, a pink. And then a, like a fuchsia. It's called neon. Well, let's open it. Because I'm fixing to play with it. I just got home from there. I still haven't found my cap to my X-Acto knife, and that's really kind of dangerous, but... So, I try to keep an eye on where it is. So, this is neon purple. Like, we couldn't figure that out. Um, this is neon... Oh, neon light purple. Okay, they're all sealed. But they're pretty clear. The bottles are pretty clear, so you can see the true color in them. And this is neon light blue. I'm assuming this is neon. Oh, this is just regular neon blue. And neon yellow green. Neon green. Doesn't look very neon, but it definitely is a brighter green. Neon yellow. Neon lemon yellow. So that's pretty cool that they give you two shades of each. Neon orange and neon light orange. I like that. And then... Neon peach. Okay, that doesn't look like neon peach to me. This looks more neon peach than this one, but this one says neon pink. This one says neon peach. Go figure, right? Anyway, so I got some more paints to play with so I can have my bright colors. I got some more washi, which ironically is in muted colors. I did get some neon washi though. And these are just those thin ones, but uh, like, and there's not that much on the roll, but it was only two ninety nine for the one, two, three, four, five. Um, there's not a ton on there, but it's, you know, about the same as anything else. But they're the thinner strip, so like on my collage calendar and all that, it'll be handy to use there. So anyway, but these, I have an idea, um, and hopefully it will work. Um, I'm not into the resin anymore. I, I've done the resin. I did it before it was easy. They've made it so easy nowadays. Um, I did all the resin. I did the jewelry. I did the whatever. So it's not going to be a resin project. I can guarantee you that. I don't think. 
I can't guarantee anything because I still own some resin making stuff. So, you know, I could easily just go in and get it and make some resin projects. Anyway, that was it. Um, but I think it's fun and it was fun just to go in. I got some exercise and I got a great little spinny thing and I got a cute little bunny. And on that note, I'm going to let you go. You have a wonderful rest of your day. And I can't wait to get busy with the new stuff. Have a great day. Bye-bye.